It's DJ. Welcome back to another episode of What's Going On, right here on Relationship Entertainment Television, which I know you're either watching me on YouTube, the app that's available for iOS and Android, or you could be watching me on Roku TV. As I said before, if you're not following Relationship Entertainment Television on all of their platforms, what are you doing with your life? I'm your host, Demita Joe, back for another positivity boost this week. You can catch me here every Wednesday at 3 p.m. So today's moment with DJ is all about being kind to your neighbor. No, I'm not saying that you need to be kind to the neighbor that you live beside in that sense, but I just mean that kindness goes a long way. I'm not saying that you have to be kind to people, but wouldn't you want somebody to be kind to you? Um, you know, whether it's just holding the door for somebody. You know, a lot of times we are stuck in our own bubble. And like, say for instance, you're driving in traffic and somebody cuts over and cuts you off or, you know, something happens like that. Like, instead of just going off and getting mad at the person, try like to think, well, what could be going on that will make somebody do that? I think there's so much negativity going on in the world. You know, from the situation in Ukraine to just our daily news. So. If you put out kindness, kindness will return. It may not be from the person that you bestow kindness upon, but trust that you will get that kindness back in return. One random act of kindness that may not seem like much to you could be the world to somebody else. You just never know. That was your moment with DJ. I just felt the need to say that. So today we have some very interesting positive stories. I was so excited to see some of these things as I was researching things for the show. And, um, I think if you guys haven't already heard about these, you'll be happy to hear these as well. So this first story is about a formerly incarcerated black entrepreneur that launches a new company. According to Black Enterprise, Sequoia Reeves, a 33-year-old ex-Marine who was formerly incarcerated but is now the founder of Second Chance Fitness, a personal fitness company that specializes in weight management, muscle gain, and overall health and well-being in and around the greater Nashville, Tennessee metropolitan area. Reeves comments to Black Enterprise that fitness is a lifestyle for me because it allows me to push myself further every day, which in turn allows me to continually grow mentally stronger. I love to see when people decide to make changes in their life and stick with them, just as I have done. It's a beautiful thing to see people reach their goals and give me the privilege to assist them in doing so. So his company, Second Chance Fitness, embraces support, accountability, education, and a customized approach to make it easier for his clients to reach their personal health and fitness goals. Even more, his company is certified by the International Sports Sciences Association. So if you do a Google search of Sequoia Reeves, you will find the incident that sent him to jail. Um, He served two years in state prison for drugs and weapons charges, but now he's using that second chance he's been given to pursue entrepreneurship. So I think this is a great story um, and of how he turned around something that was not so good. That was great. And he's only 33. Props to that brother. So this next story was very inspiring to me because it's about a black single mom entrepreneur who now has her desserts being served on American Airlines. According to Essence.com, Tamara Turner's dessert company has not only taken off, but also has taken flight. When Tamara Turner founded Silver Spoon Desserts in her Aurora, Illinois home, she poured all of her focus and energy into pursuing her passion and along the way created opportunities for her children and her community. I started my business in 2017 because I heard the voice of what I'm going to call God tell me to do the cakes first. I've been looking, hoping, and dreaming and trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do with my life. And I was told, do the cakes first, Turner said in an interview with ABC7. Now, the dessert company has not only taken off, but it has taken flight. American Airlines recently announced a partnership with Silver Spoon Desserts, which has begun serving the Bundt Cakes on all domestic flights between 900 and 1,499 miles. Also mentioned in this article is um, how she, she talks about the road to boarding American Airlines with her cakes, that it was not an easy road. When the opportunity came knocking, Turner didn't even have an established brick and mortar, only her products. 
but with the resiliency and grit that most Black women have, Turner built a 16,000 square foot facility in Chicago to accommodate the expected large orders from the airline. With a platform to reach people everywhere, Turner's mission goes beyond the delicious dessert. She wants to transform the meaning of silver spoon from a symbol of privilege to a symbol of transformation, equality, and freedom for all. Being a single mother is painful, and I know the struggle. I said, you know what? I can give back to other single mothers by offering them a living wage, but I can also teach them, train them, and help them to become economically sustainable through working with Silver Spoon Desserts, said Turner. So I really like that. So um, so those were everyday people like you and me. So I feel like we should let that be our motivation. I love those relatable stories. That lady was a single mom and she was able to start her business and land that deal. And Mr. Reeves was incarcerated before and still was able to turn around and start a successful business. If you're someone at home right now still thinking about starting that business, this is your sign to go ahead and start that business. So this was a positive thing to see um, about James Earl Jones. Recently, this past Wednesday, the Schubert organization announced in a news release that the 110-year-old Court Theater will be renamed after the legendary actor in celebration of his lifetime contributions to Broadway and the entertainment community. The Schubert organization is so incredibly honored to put James, an icon in the theater community, the black community, and the American community, forever in Broadway's lights, Robert E. Wankel, Schubert organization CEO and board chair, said in the statement. James Earl Jones is like a fixture, you know what I mean? So he's 91 years old. That's awesome. And then Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland is a new Disney Dreams ambassador. So, okay, so if you haven't heard of what that is, so I know there's, you know, there's history with Walt Disney. Um, however, this is good news for Kelly Rowland. Um, if you haven't heard of the Disney Dreamers Academy, it's a mentorship program for students in underrepresented communities. A hundred black and underrepresented high school students and teens throughout the United States are selected each year to participate. The goal of the program is to expose those students to opportunities and access to mentors that would likely not be available to them. The program aims to broaden career awareness and create exclusive enrichment opportunities for those selected. So this took place over this past weekend. In Kelly Rowland's own words, she says, Mentorship is an experience I treasure, and the opportunity to invest my time into these students is incredible. Rowland said, I'm excited to work with them and watch how they grow through the program. Per the press release, the program will introduce the Disney Dreamers to an array of new immersions, such as sessions teaching valuable life tools, as well as leadership skills, effective communication techniques, and networking strategies. It will also include various career workshops for different disciplines, ultimately introducing the Dreamers' career paths within entertainment, sciences, business, as well as within the Walt Disney Company itself. So, for more about this story, make sure you head over to thegrio.com where they have it all laid out. Um, over the years, Disney Dreamers Academy has inspired more than 1,300 students from across the country. Graduates of the program have gone on to become doctors, engineers, performing artists, entrepreneurs, and more. And some have transitioned into mentors to the Disney Dreamers. So, so I'll include the link below to um, get that full story. But congratulations to Kelly Rowland. And I got that from thegrio.com. Now it's time to get into the entrepreneur of the week. Now, this one is a little bit different. So this one is this one is pretty cool. I think that this was a great idea to start this business. Um, I would have honestly never thought about it had I not seen it. So, you know, you go to the store and you look for those little welcome mats for outside of your house. You look for those little cute little rugs and welcome mats with the little cute messages on it and things like that. Well, check out Kiki Mats. They also have an Instagram. I'll make sure to put that in the description below. But look at some of these rugs. Like, uh, yes, please. Kiki Mats is um, based out in Houston, Texas. So here is a look at their website. Make sure to tell them that you heard about their business on Relationship Entertainment Television and Demita sent you. I'm definitely going to check them out. I hope that you do too. These will be good for everyday purchases as well as uh, gifts, you know, for holidays that are coming up. So anyway, check them out. Um, Kiki Mats, that's our entrepreneur for the week. Shout out to them. All right. 
Um, now it's time to, we're going to get into our next segment of what's on TV. Okay, so everybody has been talking about the Medea Homecoming show that is on Netflix. Now, I will be honest, I have not watched it. I have tried to watch it the last two nights, but it was so late when I tried to watch it that I could not get past the first 10 minutes before I fell asleep. It wasn't because it wasn't bad, it because, but so I really have to watch it because I like the, I'm seeing some reviews on it. And so people are, you know, speaking out about how they feel about it. So that's something that's on TV. I don't know if you guys have seen that. If you have seen it, comment below. Let us know. What did you think about it? Something that's coming up on TV is Jennifer Hudson is going to have a new TV show. Jennifer Hudson is going to have a new TV show that's going to premiere this fall. And it's going to be a daytime talk show situation. So I can't wait to see what kind of uh, talk show is going to be. Like, you know... I guess she has been, she probably does have a lot to say. So I will be definitely uh, waiting for that to premiere. Other things that are coming on TV that aren't necessarily centered around our brothers and sisters, but something that I think we'll be interested in um, is they're going to do a White Man Can't Jump reboot. Um, I don't know who asked for it, but... So Jack Harlow, who's an NBA player, has landed this role. Harlow will step into the role played by Harrelson and the circumstances behind landing the star and role are exceptional. He got the lead role after his first ever screen audition, immediately winning over the filmmakers and execs, particularly Barris. Harlow's got game as well, as evidenced by his play during the recent NBA All-Star Weekend Celebrity Game. The filmmakers are now looking to set his co-star as the movie is on a fast track. Now, my question is, who is going to play Wesley Snipes? That's what I want to know. Get in the comments below and let us know who you think. And then for my people who watch Tiger, for my people who watch Tiger King. Now I, that's one of, I uh, have to admit again. Okay. That's one of those shows that I have heard about, but have not sat down to actually watch. So I guess I'm going to have to watch it before this series starts playing because Peacock is coming out with a series called Joe versus Carol. You know, so those of you that watch Tiger King know who Carol is <laughs> and Joe. And so um, this series is actually it's already started. It started on March 3rd. So it looks like I have to go back and catch up on the actual Netflix series and then start on this. Um, but the review that I'm seeing on the first show from a couple of people that looks like it's entertaining and it looks like um, it never tips into parody which is interesting because if you guys watch start if you guys started watching Bel Air you will notice the difference between the sitcom and the series and that it's very um dramatic you know what I mean it gets you in your feels a little bit but anyway so this is uh I'll, I'll have to check out Joe versus Carol not before I check out Tiger King so when I'm looking around for my entrepreneur, when I'm doing my research for my shows and I come across things that are new to me that I think are great, then I want to share to share with you. And so I want to share it with you guys. Okay. This, I couldn't resist. Like I'm buying some of these, everybody, I'm, I'm surprised they're not sold out already, but check this out. Reasons you should be playing spades with a black spades deck. These cars got black people on them. You ain't even got to fight about this. We tell you what deuces to keep and which to throw out. And it's a premium product made by black people. Shout out to them because I didn't want to mispronounce their name, but I guess it's pronounced Black Spades, but it's B-L-V-C-K Spades. But here is their website. So this is their website and they, this is the creator, but they also have the story of the creation of Black Spades on their website as well. So definitely just get on their website, click around. They also have these fly hoodies as well. So that's our bonus entrepreneur for the week. Um, I will be ordering me some, um, tell me you didn't, I mean, just from the commercial alone. So like, like I always say, we are dope, dope, dope. We are like lit as a people. Can't nobody tell me different. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and push that button.
Don't forget that Relationship Entertainment Television is now on Roku TV and you can also download the app for iOS and Android. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. It's DJ. Growing up in the church, we saw a lot. Things that people refused to talk about. The elephants in the room. Mental illness, sexual abuse, broken family, domestic violence, and so much more. The Big E, The Elephant in the Room is a show that sheds light on these topics. We're here to speak about the unspeakable. Hey, it's your girl, Tia Robertson. I'm the host of Entrepreneur Insider. <music> right here on IE TV every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern for entrepreneurs and news that you need to know about. See you there. This is Tyron and Nicole with your weekly RATV news break. Each Thursday at 12 noon Eastern, we'll come to you with the latest news, trends, and more with a positive spin. We know there's a lot of positive news that doesn't get reported, but we want to give you the opportunity to share your story here on RATV. If you have a positive news story you want us to share, you can submit your story to news at re-tv.net. Don't forget to subscribe to the Relationship Entertainment Television YouTube channel. Download the new RATV Live app on your mobile device and follow Relationship Entertainment Television on your favorite social media platform. Don't forget, make sure you tune in to the RATV News Break each Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Until, Until then, then, be blessed and be great. is Demita Joe. Each Wednesday, you can find me here at 3 p.m. I'll be over here discussing different things that are going on and try to bring you a boost of positivity for your week because we all need this. We're going to share some feel-good stories. We might find a hometown hero. We may take a look at some trending topics and sometimes we might even find a lesson in a not so warm and fuzzy story if we can. I'm Demita Joe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode right here on What's Going On?